Uh, I've been telling a lot of people that Arkansas reminds me of 2015 uh, Pittsburgh. Um, just the way their scheme and the way they use their fullbacks and extra uh, tight ends and stuff like that. So, um, and how physical they are, they both are. Um, it's very a lot, a lot of similarities. Uh, just send our things out the right way, uh, first of all, uh, because. Um, you know, uh, Sam Rogers, he's one of the first guys that I've met. So I, I vividly remember his face uh, in my freshman year, you know, and um, Big John, Augie, uh, Kenny Canham, Woody Barron, Chuck Clark. You know, I could go all the way down the list of all the scenes, but uh, all those guys have, have put so much sweat equity into this program, you know, and, um, and the things that they've bought into and they've been through. Uh, to send them out uh, on top with 10 wins, you know, it's, it's the least that we can do uh, as underclassmen to kind of to kind of pay our tribute back to them. That, that list that you rattled off is pretty impressive of the guys that are seniors, um, but you also have some guys coming back. But when you think about the strength of this program going forward, what kind of shape do you think Virginia Tech's in? I think the future is bright. It's bright. It's really bright. You know, um, I think that we have even some more players that have registered this year to kind of add, add some muscle in and kind of learn the playbook and things like that that'll, that'll play big roles next year as well uh, as far as uh, Virginia Tech going forward. And I think the, uh, the future is really bright for us, you know, um, defensively and offensively. Fun for me to watch you go from, I mean, obviously we're going to your story, right? Walking away, he's like, right, right, right. But like, did you know you, you had to know you were capable of this when you left to come to Black yeah, I mean, I set high expectations for myself. I've been taught to set high expectations for myself, and I've had a lot of great people around me, great mentors around me to help me get to where I am today. Um, so I knew if I just got the opportunity, then then I could have a chance to prove myself. And you know, I'm glad it's worked out. I'm very fortunate to be here. On this kind of journey you've been, what do you kind of reflect on as you had this last game? I mean, it's just going by so fast. It's hard to even believe that this is my last game coming up. Um, it seems like just yesterday I was coming on the campus and just, like you said, trying to prove myself and trying to show that I could play here. But it's weird to think that it's going to be my last game here as a Hokie. So I'm just trying to cherish every moment of it. That's cool. Thank you. Right, appreciate it. First time coming to Charlotte? Yeah, it's my very first time. I'm a Dallas, I'm a Dallas boy. I'm a Texas boy. So uh, first time in Charlotte. What's it, what's it like uh, coming to see a city like this? You got the new ballpark here and playing in the Panther Stadium. Any any uh, excitement for that? Uh, yeah, I would say it's a little bit of excitement. Uh, that's where Cam Newton's played, so it's definitely a little bit exciting to to play where he plays. Uh, but. Uh, you look up to him as a quarterback? Uh, I look up to him and, other, and a couple other quarterbacks, but yeah, I look up to him a little bit. Do you mind your game after uh, The way he runs a little bit because I have to run so much, so I try to see how he runs the ball and how he protects himself when he runs the ball. Um, a lot of more things that I look look at too, but yeah, I model my game after him a little bit. Orgy City, I felt very at home here. Um, hopefully we can come out and play well and, and compete to win a game tomorrow. Um, you know, just the, the other bowl games and, and the coaching change and whatnot, it's been an experience that I'll never forget. I really feel like that the, the VT on the helmet really means something deeper to me. And uh, there's no better way to go out than, you know, playing your hardest with the people that you care most about and, and trying to win one game and going. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've been together the whole time. It's been a long four years, but I wouldn't rather be with any other group of guys. I think we've grown close together as, as we battle adversity, and I'm really appreciative of this group of guys. I got to be a part of it, and, uh, you know, hopefully I can go out there and give them all, of I, all that I got, try to win one more game.